Now this is already a serious position, but a, a very useful one to know. We have a uh, rook and pawn versus rook. As we already said earlier, this position is usually a draw if black can get his king in front of, of the pawn. So with black king on f8 or f7, most of the time it's going to be a draw. There are a few exceptions if uh, white, white king and pawn are really close and uh, it's white to move and so on. Very, very few exceptions. But if uh, black king cannot enter, cannot get uh, to, to these squares in front of the pawn, then white might have serious chances to win. This is one of these situations, so black wants to come with his king closer to the pawn. Let's see first what happens one more time if we let black do that. So let's say we try to push our pawn because we want to have a new queen. Black king co comes closer, we cannot push, so we come a little bit with the king. Black will check. And then maybe let's say black goes here. He has other good moves. White maybe plays like this. Black should put his rook to the sixth rank and put his king to f7. This is a fantastic drawing position, great drawing position. We never let white pass the sixth rank with his king. It's impossible. White king cannot get to sixth rank at all. If he does, then it's going to be very clear draw. White, if white checks, black just waits with his king on f8 and f7. Just We just wait here forever. White can check, we go back, we go back. We never go left, we never go right. We just wait right in front of the enemy pawn. And there is nothing white can do here. Absolutely nothing. The moment he lets us, we, we come a bit closer with the king. If white trades to, uh, tries to maneuver his rook somewhere like this and try tries to trade, let's, let's show this. So white does something like that. And then what wants to get forward with his king, so he checks here and he tries to trade the rooks. What should we do here? What do you think? Of course, we will trade the rooks gladly, because we know that it's always a draw if, if our king gets to one of these two squares in front of the enemy pawns. It can be this square, but also this square is great. It's also always good enough, unless our king is on the 8th rank. Then there may, might be some problems, but now our king is on the 7th rank, so this position is always a draw. The only thing white can do after waiting a little is to try to push f6. Now it is a little dangerous if you are not careful and try to make another waiting move. White will go king g6 and win the game because he has this great mating threat. And the only way we can parry this is by putting our rook to b8, which is called passive defense in rook and pawn versus rook endgame. Passive defense works great against these four pawns, but unfortunately it doesn't work at all against uh, four pawns on, uh, on the central files. So how will white win now? White will go to h7, threatening to checkmate from here, and after this, check, check, take the rook and win quite easily. So we, we are waiting on the sixth rank, waiting, waiting patiently. The moment white pushes his pawn, it is very important to not lose any time, but immediately go with our rook to the first rank. White cannot do anything, these checks don't help, black just waits. If white tries to go king g6 and checkmate the black king, then black starts checking forever. These checks will never end. There is no way for white to stop them, other than going too far away from his pawn. Let's try to illustrate this, something like this. Then black will easily come here and very soon eliminate this poor little guy and make a draw. Okay, so let's go back all the way to the beginning, to the starting position. So we don't want black king to come in, in front of our pawn. And black actually has two great options, and maybe this one is also good. So the only move white can do is one nice rook move. Can you guess what it is? Yes, of course, it's rook e2. We are cutting off the black king. Now the black king cannot get in front of our pawn. Still, sometimes black might be able to make a draw. For example, in this position, Black Rook would be magically able to give a check on G8 and Black King to come to D6. We would get a, a very interesting drawing setup, but Black cannot do this. Now we have a, a simple bridge position. There's nothing we, uh, Black can do against the following plan. White will slowly push his pawn and King. King will probably have to step in front of the pawn. And then White will build so-called bridge and win the game. I'm going to show how it works. But is there anything black uh, other than this that black can do but before white pawn comes to the seventh rank and king comes to g7 or f8? Let's try to see what could black's plan be. The only thing that, that comes to my mind is maybe bringing the rook on e8, trying to chase away this rook. But the problem for black is that after some play like this, let's say white comes forward, 
Then we push this pawn. Black comes to e8. White will simply trade, trade. And now we have a, a position where our king is... E even, even this move is, is fine because when once our king is on 6th rank and in front of the pawn, we always win. The only exceptions are a and h pawns. But in any other case, if we have king on 6th rank in front of our pawn, pawn can be here or here or here, it, it doesn't matter. As long as black cannot take it immediately, we always win. There's nothing black can do. Even if without pawn on the 5th rank, white would win because we can put the king to g6. And now black... Even King J doesn't help him now, but he cannot even get the opposition. There's no way black can trade the rooks, and uh, and after this 